games nobody I'm trying to pack. Look, I know it's you, Louis, so just stop it, will ya? Ow! Serves you right. Oh, nobody! What did you do that for? I know it's you. Now, what's the matter? You know we've got to pack, ready to go away. Oh, has he been playing games with you too, has he? Oh, so silly sometimes. Oh, he was in the mood last night as well. All that rushing around the house. Like trying to go to sleep in a gale. He knows we can't leave for Grandma's until we've packed. I think he's very selfish. <laughs> what about you two going away and leaving me like this? Do you what's selfish? Oh, we're only going for one night. Blimey, well, I mean, do you think we're leaving for good the way you're carrying on? Well? Well, why don't you come with us? Because I've told you before. If I leave this house for any amount of time, I'll come back and find another ghost ticket over my arms. I'd lose my own then, wouldn't I? Oh, you've haunted this house for years all along, yet here you are complaining about being by yourself for one night. Mates, aren't we, eh? Mates should stick together. Besides, my birthday. I thought you told you didn't know when you were born. My birthday when I become a ghost, clever. I started haunting this house 140 years ago, come tomorrow night. Tomorrow, well, we'll be back by then. Tell you what, now we'll have a party for you. Oh, yeah, great. Party for me. Just the three of us up here. Since you two come to live here, I haven't felt much like a ghost. Competition in the insurance business is very tough nowadays, Mr Sinclair. That's why we're offering low premiums to selected clients that we feel are a good risk. To tell you the truth, I couldn't afford a very high premium. Most of the uh, capital we had when we started this business is tied up in stock. Which is exactly why you should be insured. It seems to me you have some fairly valuable antiques, and I'm assuming you have some even more valuable things that you don't have on display. Yes, yes, indeed. Most of the uh, jewellery and whatnot we keep locked in the safe. Safe? Behind the picture. <laughs> Very wise. Could I take a look? Yes, yes, please. Oh, yes, that looks quite secure. What do you have inside? Uh, jewellery and whatnot. Could I see that? Yes, of course. Thank you. See, you're a very cautious man, Mr. Sinclair. We like that. Oh, very nice. Yes. Well, you're very wise to keep those under lock and key. There must be five or six hundred pounds worth there. Oh, close to a thousand. I hope you have some sort of burglar alarm system fitted. Yes. Could I see that? Why not? Is that it? Uh, no, no, that's uh, that's the dog. Now we've got an alarm on the on the door here, one on yes. the inside of the door leading from the house, and uh, oh, shop window. Ah, yes. Well, they look good enough. Um, tell me, Mr. Sinclair, what value would you place on the contents? Replacement value of all the stuff we have in the shop, uh, something in the region of five thousand. Hmm. Right. Well, I'll tell you what I do. I'm sufficiently impressed with your security system to offer you the lowest premiums to cover the house and contents, plus, let's say, a 10,000 limit on the stock in hand in the shop. Oh, premium charges are on page five well, of the brochure. Uh, uh, well, it's lucky for you I called in. You're getting quite a bargain. I'll drop back on Monday when you've had time to consider the proposal. Oh, all right. Oh, I'm now. Oh, there's one more thing. Is the property left unoccupied for any length of time? No, not really. Oh, I sometimes take the family to stay with my mother on a Saturday. Saturday today? Yes. Oh, we're back tomorrow. We always come back on Sunday. Ah, well, as long as it's not for too long. The company aren't too keen to give cover in those circumstances. Oh. Right, well, don't feel you're being rushed into anything, but do consider the proposal seriously. I think it's a good offer. Bye-bye. Sure. Have a nice weekend. Uh, goodbye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Customer or creditor? Neither. Insurance salesman. Oh, yuck. Oh. It's quite a nice chair. Made me think a bit. 
We really should insure everything, you know. We could be cleared out by a burglar one night. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, what a day. Am I? You can sleep on the drive down to Mother's. Oh, darling, I hate to have to tell you, but... Uh... What? Well, you know we've had this outbreak of flu among You're the staff. You're working tomorrow. You're not coming. Sorry. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll take the kids anyway. You have a nice restful night without us in your hair. Restful? I've got a ton of ironing to do, including our bedroom curtains and bedspread. Well, can't you leave them, have a bit of a rest? And have all the time watching while I get ready for bed. And of course, a raised eyebrow or two. Oh, I don't know. Not that I should be able to sleep well with you all away, anyway. Darling. Hmm? Don't ever do it. I won't. Now, I suppose I'd better get your things packed. Well, all right, you can have the party in here. As long as you don't make a mess, because, well, you know how untied you are. Don't oh, stop nagging. You're worse than Mum. What is it? What happens? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I have heard of birthday parties. You were stabbing down at that old man house for them posh kids. But I ain't never had one. I never work house kids did. Oh, you've never been to a party, never. Sometimes at Christmas, Vic used send down a few bob. Used to get a bowl of ale, some tatties and a bit of leg up. But ain't a party, is it? Not a proper one. No, it's not, nobody. Well, there's a picture of a party here. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, it's a doll's tea party, you loon. Well, it's the same sort of thing, isn't it? See, nobody draws starts with a tea party. We all sit round in paper hats and eat jellies and sandwiches. Trees and sandwiches and sandwiches. Things. Then for the person whose birthday it is, well, there's a big cake. Like, like that. <laughs> What's all them candles for? Well, well, one for each year. If you're 14 years old, you get 14 candles, see? Yeah, I'm wondering, Nod. Oh, yeah, well. You better be the same age as me, then. This will be your 14th birthday. So I get 14 candles? Right, and at the end of the party we light all the candles and you have to blow them out with one breath. Blow them out? Like what for? Oh, I don't know. He just do. Oh. Well, it, well, it's like saying goodbye to the 13 years and hello to the 14th. Sort of symbolic. Sounds like fun. What happens next? Well, then we play games and things. And... Oh. What's up? Well, we can get biscuits and that, but what about a birthday cake? Hey, we can have one of them that your mum makes for Sunday tea. Well, I, well, I see it's in there sometimes and watches it. She puts all sorts of nuts and jam and... Well, well, we'll have to see about that, nobody. But then there's the presents. Presents? Well, everybody who comes to your party brings you a present. Oh, Jimmy, come on, you two. Okay, Mum. See you, nobody. See you. Bye, nobody. You can get everything ready for the party. Let's get everything ready for the party while we're gone, okay? Get what ready, Tom? What? Don't forget me, present. Okay. I don't know anything about birthday parties. Quiet! Elephant! It's raining. There. That's everything you'll need. Packed into the car. Thank you, darling. Oh, what are you doing? Locking up the crown jewels? There you go. Too careful. Nobody's going to break in while I'm here, are they? Oh, you're not coming to Grant's, Mum. Sorry, loves. I've got to work tomorrow. No, no. Uh, I've forgotten a book Don't that I Don't you be long. Said. Go on. I still think we should have left Walter with you. Oh, that's silly. I'd only have to leave him on his own all day tomorrow. Oh, Dying, don't forget to lock up the shop. Nobody. Nobody? Hey, that one's shot, is it? Mum's not coming with us. I left company after all, then. I just thought to tell you, because no one knew you'd go barging right into her and frighten the living daylights out of her. Me? So you just behave, right? In fact, it's your responsibility to look after Mum. On one condition. What? Yes, can you get that lovely spongy cake for a party? Oh, nobody. All right, but you behave, right? Yes, good as gold. Oh. Come in, Dad. See you now. See you. Come, Come on, on boy. Don't your mother's life. Hey, did I get a kiss? Drive carefully. Mum, could you make us one of those big sponge cakes? Well, I'm going to spend a cake with Yes, I will. I promise. <sighs>
Hello? Oh, hello, darling. Good. Good. Your mother all right? Oh, and how did they behave in the car? Oh, surprise, surprise. Oh, tired. Yes, yes, I will. I'm not going to do any more ironing. I'm leaving the curtains. Oh, I'll sleep in Jilly's room tonight to save embarrassing the neighbours. Right. Right. Good night, darling. See you all tomorrow. Bye. To whisper. They're all away, the entire family. Would you clever be half you are. Where are you going? Checking the rest of the house and opening the back door. Back door? What on earth for? You amateurs. So we've got a second way out, clever dick. You don't know now about this game, do you? When I set up a job, Smiley, there's no need for these stupid precautions. I use my brains. They're foolproof. Aye. Well, I've spent too much time in the nick to trust clever little lads like you. You, wasn't it? That, that, that was you. Was what? Well, I... No, it, it couldn't have been. What's the matter with you? The ghost. I've seen it. Ghost. What ghost? <clears throat> what on earth are you talking about? They, they always said this place was haunted, and, and now I know it's true. I've seen it. Oh. I thought it was you lacking about with a sheet over your head, and I grabbed the sheet, and, and nothing. There was nothing there. Don't be such an idiot. There's no such thing as ghosts. You're imagining it. It's dark, isn't it? But I've seen it. You probably saw a shadow coming into the moonlight from outside. But, but I grabbed it and... and no, say shut up. You're behaving like a hysterical old woman. Now, come on. Let's do what we came here for. Let's get cracking on this safe. It's behind the picture. All right, all right. That's fair. Shut me up, guys. I could have sworn... Come on, come on. Get on with it. It's here. I can feel it. Don't be silly. It's just a draft. It's an old house, bank full of creaking and odd noises. Come on, get on with it. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. Right, I'm going to look at the back rooms. You're not going to leave me, are you? Scared of the dark. Come on, get on with it. Stop behaving like a two year old. Right, now for you, my baby. Oh, there's no such thing as ghosts. Ah! 
gotcha. Someone hit me, I think. What? Oh, you must have knocked these books off the shelf or something. Come on. Get that safe open. I opened it. Well, it doesn't look open to me. I distinctly remember opening that. Oh, yes. Look, I was told you were the best man with a safe in this area. Up to now, all you've done is behave like a scared kid. Now get on with it. Where are you going now? I'm going to do the upstairs rooms, aren't I? Immediately. I've trapped two burglars in the cellar. Yes. Uh, Jean Sinclair, Cornerstones Antique Shop, 84 Valley Road. Cornerstones Antique Shop. Cornerstones. Here, don't forget these. Uh, be careful with this. It's extremely valuable. Now then. It's all right, then. I can do that. Come on, police station. I'll make you a cup of tea before you go. Well, I could do with something stronger before I make that statement. I must say, I don't relish that. Why not, Daddy? Never you mind. No, never mind. I think nobody will like it. Like what? This. It's your present. That. <laughs> it's to keep you company if we have to go away again. What the heck's that? It's an old magic lantern. Does put an electric light bulb in it. Magic. It shows pictures. What, like that contraption downstairs, that telly thing? No, this used oh. to belong to our great granddad. Mm. They used to live a few miles away from here. Roxley, I think it was. Roxley? Used to be a market there on Mondays. Good place for nicking, that was. Do you remember what it looked like? Oh, well, it's all changed now. Hey! That's it! That's the market! I know our great granddad used to live here way back. He collected all these, including some that you'll really like. That's Town Hall. Used to live near there. What else have you got? Oh, there's over a hundred. Most of them are from around here. A hundred. Buy it. This should bring back a few memories. Come on, darling, you can't put it off any longer. Yeah. I should have called in at the police station on the way home from Mother's. Five o'clock in the morning? Oh, being taken in like that, I feel such a fool. Well, you weren't to know. That insurance salesman, though, he seemed so genuine. Mm, most villains do, love. You know, when you think about it, the line he spun when he was here, it was so uh, obvious. The rates were so low. I'm so gullible. Oh, perhaps it'll teach me not to be so greedy. work out what it was waking me up. I was absolutely fast asleep. Those burglars must have been making a terrible noise. Yeah, thought we were all away, didn't they? Yeah. Yes. Must be very scary for you. Not really. I think I frightened them more than they frightened me. 
They thought I was a ghost. Do you really like it, nobody? Aye, it's the only present I've ever had. Ah, that's Bill Street. That's where Tanner's arms was. We used to go down there for air on Sundays. I could tell you a tale at all about that place. Me and lads, old Jack, Copperhead, Toby Six Toes. Six Toes? Well, they called him that because he had six toes on one foot. Then they were blind, too. Because she was... No, well, we didn't really know whether she was blind or not because she never missed when it come to handing out a clout round air holes. That's workhouse. That must have been awful. Looks like prison. Ah, well. Sort of family, see? We stuck together, we had to. Times were hard, especially at workhouse. But to me, it was home. Only one I'd really ever had. That I could remember, like. And them that were in there were my family. Bye, that was a long time ago. 